hey, last night I came across some fascinating information. Uh, basically, 12,800 years ago, it's purported that a comet storm smashed... Basically, there's this comet... There's this, like, uh, this lane of comets... It's like broken up from this, I don't know if it's from one big comet or something, but the Earth passes through this like stream where there is debris and it, it passes through it twice a year. And it's, you know, very unlikely that anything's going to happen that we're going to run into. But apparently 12,800 years ago, comets smashed into the Earth and melted the ice. So what we were like in, I guess you would say... The, like there was uh, there was glaciers like lining the north the northern I don't know there's glaciers all over the world and this is like all and basically this information is historically documented so the, what there's talking about I watched this Joe Rogan podcast last night and he had Graham Hancock on and this other guy who I should probably get his name. But the other guy's just as cool as Graham Hancock. I think his name was Richard or something. He's like a meteor... I don't know if you call him a meteorologist, but he's like a guy that studies like meteors and the impacts and things like that. So what they think happened was these, these comets hit... There's no impact craters. So what they think happened is that they hit the, the glaciers. And or they exploded in the atmosphere. And but whatever happened, it happened over North America and basically set fire to the entire continent. I mean, this is like this is like the biggest extinction that has happened on the planet in like millions of years as far as they can tell. Um the the Basically, there was a lot more land because all the glaciers, there was so much ice that the, the sea levels were lower. So, like, the Bering Strait between Russia and the United States was, like, a lot of land. And this is why the, the North America was so populated. And, like, you think, like, the Panama Canal, like, that was a lot of land back then. So, but basically, there was so much ice that just melted when these things exploded in the atmosphere or smashed into the earth or whatever. Um, basically, it set fire to, to North America. It happened over North America. It wiped out like all the huge 70% of the, the, the mega, mega fauna, they say, which is like elephants, giraffes. I mean, any, any big animal, a lot of the big animals were, were, were decimated, which is why they're not in the United States, why we don't have elephants in North America because of this extinction event. And... It, it is at the same time that all the woolly mammoths died off. Like, they look at... There's all these bones from this period, and then there's this layer of black soot from the fires that happened that just... I mean, the, the entire Earth burned. And this is, like, supposedly happened in an afternoon, so these comets hit and just set everything on fire and then melted all the ice, and sea levels rose, like, 400 feet. And this is believed, this is when Plato says that Atlantis was lost, 9,000 BC or something. So, the way people work is they tend to build big cities on the coast or by rivers. So, when the water rises 400 feet, entire civilizations can be lost. And like Indonesia was, was like one of the greatest civilizations in the world at that time, and it, it's all submerged now. Um, so they're saying like we need to like send these archaeology we need to be looking underwater for past civilizations rather than just look for shipwrecks because what the fuck so the waters rose wiped out I mean basically thrust the world just just absolutely dwarfed humanism and, and put things into perspective and um, after all the ice melted and there's all this blackness in the atmosphere, the temperatures on Earth plummeted. For like 1,200 years, we went into an ice age and absolutely devastated humanity. So what, what they're saying is 
humanity, we may very well have had like a legit, seriously intelligent, powerful civilization before. For all we know, we had giant libraries of knowledge and information in the in coastal cities that were lost. Um, Atlantis was supposedly like the biggest empire in the world at that time. It was a, a I don't know if it was a continent or, or a giant island uh, dominated by a mega city called Atlantis, and it was a port. Um, so we entered a 1200 year ice age. And at the end of this 1200 years, almost abruptly as this ice age started, the temperatures are shown to, have, to spike back up like 20 degrees and all the ice then melts and causes another flood. So they're doc like if you look at like history, uh, religious history, you see floods throughout uh, civilization they talk about this great flood and like the Greeks when they talk about like Zeus and all this he was born from a god named chaos I mean they actually go as far back as the darkness and the chaos and it's like so whatever happened I mean I, I think the earth was like reset 12,800 years ago we there must have been huge uh, they say that the Sphinx was actually built before this catastrophe and that supposedly like Eastern Africa was spared somehow, maybe because it was on the other side of the planet from where the comet struck. But it was like one of the only parts on the earth that wasn't absolutely just shredded by this, the fires and, and, and ice. So, when it's it's almost so simple that it's not even that big of a deal but I mean civilization as we know it is like birthed from the ashes of this and and I think what people maybe realized like we can never let this happen again and so they fervently banded together to form these civilizations of power and organization and that makes me think like that's why we've developed like we have so so rapidly is so that we can divert comets and prevent having to face another firestorm this is like it puts things in perspective here because all this chaos that we're creating amongst ourselves is fucking insanity when you think of the cosmic chaos the 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 thirty mile long asteroids that can smash into planets. I mean, we we have so like Graham saying we have Jupiter. Jupiter is our great protector, and tends to absorb a lot of the comets that enter the solar system. But not all of them. I mean, we're looking at recent history when 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 like. So, oh God, I gotta take a piss, sorry.